What's up guys, the Audi Q8 has been on sale for about 5 years, so it's only natural for the house of Ingolstadt to update its flagship SUV. Only the standard model and the SQ8 are being revealed today, as the revised RS Q8 will break cover later. Despite being available since 2018, the Swoopy Sport utility vehicle still feels fresh inside and out in 2023. Nevertheless, the four rings felt the need to give it a nip and tuck to bottle the 2024 BMW X6. The change just start at the front, where the single-frame grille now has octagonal elements for both the Q8 and SQ8. Interestingly, the German luxury brand says it has changed the imposingly large corporate grille for the Coupe SUV to not only set it apart from the A-bashed cars, but also to denote its seats at the top of the hierarchy. The mid-cycle revision also includes chunky path A intakes even for the normal variant. Is the headlights that represent a more significant upgrade compared to the pre-facelifted version? Version, the 2024 Audi Q8 gets high-intensity LED headlights that can be optionally replaced with a Matrix LED setup. On top of that are the HD Matrix LED headlights featuring a laser light for the high beam. The latter is automatically turned on at 43.5 mph. In addition, these new swanky headlights are configurable in the sense there are four light signatures selectable via the infotainment. At the back, Audi is implementing OLED technology into the taillights to mimic the A8 full-size sedan and the smaller Q5 crossover. These not only boast the usual coming home and living home sequences and dynamically turn signals, but also a safety feature when the car behind comes with a 6.6 .6 feet of a stationary Q8. All OLED elements are automatically activated to make the Porsche SUV more visible. The facelift brings three new metallic paints, chili red, scary blue, sakir gold, along with five alloy wheel designs varying in size from 21 to 23 inches. Stepping inside, the cabin can be had with a selection of 9 decorative inlays and a few new upholstery choices. In Europe, Audi will sell the 2024 Q8 as a 55 TFSI model with a 3-liter gasoline engine running on the auto cycle. This six-cylinder mill produces 335 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque, enabling the luxury SUV to hit 62 mph in 5.6 seconds and topped out at an electronically capped 155 mph. There's also a six-cylinder 3 liter diesel engine in the form of the 45 TDI with 228 HP and 369 pound-feet of torque, good for a 7.1 second sprint and a 140 mph top speed. Step up to the 50 TDI model and you get 282 HP and 441 pound-feet of torque for a sprint in 6.1 seconds and a maximum speed of 150 mph. As far as the SQ8 is concerned, it gets a larger 4.0 liter V8 gasoline engine with a massive 500 HP and 568 pound-feet of torque to hit 62 mph from a standstill in just 4.1 seconds, en route to an electronically going 155 mph. This brawny 8-cylinder unit can switch off 4 of its cylinders in a matter of milliseconds to reduce fuel consumption when the extra power is not needed. The SQ8 gets Quattro permanent all-wheel drive and an 8-speed Tiptronic gearbox which changes gears quicker on the SQ8. The 2024 Audi Q8 SQ8 will be available to order in Europe later this month. Pricing in Germany starts at €86,700 for the 45 TDI, followed by the 50 TDI at €89,700, the 55 TFSI at €89,900 and the SQ8 at $119,500. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Peace out.